The next thing that we're going to do on our Birdwatchers website is we're going to create an internal page and then we'll create a navigational system that will allow us to navigate from the various pages that we're going to have on our website. We'll be making the Contact Us page because it's going to contain different formatting than the rest of the pages. I'm going to open up my template file and we'll start working from this file. I'm going to do a Save As and I'm going to save this in my root directory, but I'm going to make sure I put it in the Pages folder. So I'm going to go into the Pages folder, and I'm going to give this page a name, and we'll call this page contact.html. This page is going to have the title of the Bird Watchers, and then we'll begin by going to the body and adding the content that we want to display on the body. We'll begin by having an H1 display here and we'll just title the page with the title of the site. Then we're going to have an H2 tag, so this is going to be the subtitle, and then we'll create a paragraph tag, and inside the paragraph tag we'll display our image first. I'm going to use the image tag and pass on the source attribute. Now the path to get to the image is going to be different from what we used on the home page. If we go back to the home page and we look at the path, you can see that it's images forward slash bird. Let's bring up our directory. Here's my root directory right here. So from the index page, if I want to get into the images folder, I just say images and then I call the image. Now we're inside the pages folder. So I can't just reach out and grab the images. I actually have to come out of the pages folder and then into the images folder and then call the file. In order to navigate in that way, we're going to change the path to the image. So we'll still use the src attribute, but this time I'm going to use dot dot forward slash, then I'll put images, and then I'll put the name of the image file. I'll also need to make the attribute for the alt tag. Let's have the image display a little bit smaller on this page as well. And then because this is a self-closing tag, I'm going to do the space forward slash and then put the angle bracket. Whenever you put the dot dot forward slash, that means you're coming up one level. So if you're inside of a folder and you want to get up a level, you use dot dot forward slash. You could basically string along as many dot dot forward slashes as you wanted to. So if I wrote something like this, this means go up two levels and then find something called images. It's really important that you understand how to get from here to there when you're building websites because it's very common that you'll be nesting files in folders and you're going to want to be able to navigate and display those files and folders or link them together. So you have to be able to have a good handle on file management as we mentioned before, keep things organized, and then understand how you get in and out of folders. When I want to go into a folder, I just put the folder name, and I could just string together multiple folder names. So I might have images forward slash western forward slash bird dot ping. What this means is it means come up one level, find a folder called images, then find a folder called western, and then find the file called bird.ping. So in this way you can easily get from here to there. You just need to make sure that you're using the appropriate path to get to that particular file. We're just going to display the image like so. I'm going to include my align left property here as well. And then after the paragraph tag, I'm going to have a list display the contact information. Whenever you create lists, you're going to use the li tag. That's the list tag. But before you can actually create the li tag, you need to define the type of list that you want to utilize. There's several types of lists that you can use inside of a web page. You can create unordered lists. Those are going to display bulleted lists. Or you can create ordered lists they will create numbered lists or lists that are going to appear in an order. And then there's another type of list called a definition list. We're going to start off by creating an ordered list. So I do that by using the OL tags for ordered list. Inside the OL tags I'm going to create list tags and then I would just put the content that I want to appear within that list item. So here we'll just put the phone number. We'll add another list item and put the address. And then finally we'll add one more list item. And this final list item is going to contain email information and we will use the mail to technique that I showed you in the last lesson. So I'm going to write my text 
I'm going to surround the text that I want to be the link inside of my A tag and then I'm going to use the attribute of her ref and pass on the mail too since I want this to be an email type of link. Then I'm going to just copy the copyright from the index page and I'll have that appear after my ordered list. So if we save our page now and if we look at this in the browser, this page now looks like this. So you can see here I have my H1, then I have my H2, I have my ordered lists and you can see it displays as one, two, three, and then I have this copyright information. Let's change the ordered list to a bulleted list. We do that by using the unordered list. So the code for that is just UL. So if I just change this to a UL, now when we look in the browser, you'll see that I've created a unordered list. So unordered lists create bullet points, ordered lists have some sort of numeric designation. By default, they will appear with numeric characters, one, two, three, four, but with CSS, you can easily change those to display as Roman numerals or lowercase alpha characters, uppercase alpha characters, whatever style you prefer. And we'll learn more about how to do that in the CSS portion of the class, but for now, I just want you to be familiar with how you can create list items. So in this way, you now know how to create a list, and we've created this secondary page for our website. In the next movie, I'll show you how we can link these pages together so that you can navigate from one page to the other.